Okay guys, look at this. The F8C is finally in game. I can't believe it. And and the way that it came out was it was kind of different and unique to what Star Citizen usually does with ship releases. And of course a storm wants to hit now. Jeez. Well guys, this is it. This is the F8 Sea Lightning, the civilian version of the Squadron 42 hero ship. I can't believe it's out already. I mean, I thought this would be out after Squadron 42. Maybe we might get a little surprise come around Citizen Con. So for the most part, this ship is pretty stock. I just changed the Tarantula Gatling guns to cannons so I don't have to worry about restocking. But does this ship really live up to the hype? Is it a beast? Is it worth the wait? Is it what backers have been waiting for all along? Huh. We'll get into that and a whole bunch more after we roll that beautiful intro. Alright guys, so this magnificent ship dropped on Tuesday, which happened to be Star Citizen's birthday. So, you know, a lot of people were thinking this was the big birthday gift, you know, the ability for you to spend money. <laughs> I mean, this is a business after all. But anyway, besides all that, they released a new in-game event, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So pretty much you have to find a CIG dev or at least a server with one on it with a priority mission, run the gauntlet. So basically you have to find him, take the card off him, but it will give you a guide marker to pretty much everybody in the server and they're all going to attack you. I mean, I've seen some videos online. People are going crazy for this thing. But anyway, I just did a little bit of reshuffling and I got this thing off store credit. So this one here is mine. I'm not going to fight the fish for that free platinum version, even though not the platinum, the executive version. The skin is very nice. You know, I love my gold lace things. But again, I'm not going through all the hoopla. But anyway, enough about the event. Let's get into the ship. Let's take it out. Let's see how it does. I mean, I've had a little bit of fun with it already, and it is freaking amazing. But yeah, let's take this thing out. Oh, you hear those engines? God, this thing is so nice. Yeah, we're going to do a little bit of bounties around the Hurston area here. We're going to try it in atmosphere. We're going to try it in space. We're going to try it in the moons. And yeah, we're going to run this thing through its paces. Oh, man, look at that. That is so nice. I love transforming ships. And I love the wing on the bottom. It's a new take. Okay guys, we are on our way here to our first destination, our first target, our first mark, our first bounty. You know what I mean? Man, this ship is so fast, it's freaking crazy. As we break atmosphere at around 1300 meters per second. I mean, this thing is damn near Harold's speed and we all know how quick that is. Okay, first target here, what do we got? Looks like a freelancer. Ooh, look how many guns. I love the look of this, the red and the blue. Oh man, oh, I lost him. Look how many weapons, I'm shooting the whole ship. Easy, and that's a freelancer, that's a medium ship. Oh, we got a blade here. Let's uh, let's take out all his wingmen as well, since we took out the target so fast. Target on the blade. Pop, just like that. Oh my God, this thing is a beast. Oh, watch out, watch out. Okay, with its large profile, it's going to be hard to avoid missile fire. It's going to be really hard to fire, avoid missile fire with his big profile. What do we got? Let me get a lock on him. Bam. I hate how the NPCs fly so close to you. That jousting. So annoying. Let me feed you with a bunch of lasers. One thing I noticed, once you add a whole bunch of laser repeaters to the build, it does ruin your capacitors, your amount of to fire rate. 
not fire rate, the amount of time you can fire on a ship. But I mean, you're just laying so many shots on target. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What do we have? This guy crashed? All right, let's just finish this guy off. Damn, you can literally one pass any ship out here. It's freaking crazy. So fast, so nimble. Oh, wait, we do have one more target. Hold on, guy. Come back here. Closing in on target. Let's see if we can one pass him. Oh, we didn't even pass him yet. Jesus. Ten laser repeaters coming at you. I added two cannons, actually. So eight laser repeaters, two cannons, whole lot of firepower and fun. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, guys, we are coming into Hurston now. We're going to give this baby a little atmospheric test and see if it's as maneuverable in atmosphere as it is in space. I mean... With the amount of wings and stuff protruding off of every angle, we have fins over here, everything over there. I mean, it makes sense that this thing is so, you know, aerodynamic. Ooh, we are right on the outsides, the outskirts of Lorville. This game is so beautiful, just flying through the clouds. This F-22 Raptor-like ship. All right, we got Hubert, 15 kilometers out. See what he's flying. Okay, we, it looks like we have three targets. Yes, three targets. We have a Miss Freelancer here. Looks like a Freelancer Max. Might have cargo in it, but I don't have a cargo ship. Looks like we're taking you out, baby. Whoa, watch out. Woo! Running right by him. What's this here? Another Freelancer and a Cutlass Black. Oh, great. Guys, right now there is a bug with the Cutlass Black with it. They said the shields aren't working correctly, so they gave a Cutlass Black a ridiculous amount of hull HP. And it takes forever to take these things out. Let's try and take this one out first. It's going to take a while. Looks like he's about to crash. Are you going to crash and do my work for me? I think he hit. He hit the deck. His rear shields are completely down. Well, he's trying to go back up. He lost the engine. It looks like he lost the engine. He might be a problem. Let's go on somebody else. I don't think he'll be able to fly with the engine down. We'll take on this Freelancer here. Shooting a fury of lasers. Like, just look how many lasers are going at targets. We, he lost the engine on the first pass here. Let's just put him out of his misery. Woo! Oh my god. A medium ship... It's even worse because like every single laser hits every single part of the ship. All right, we got the Cutlass Black. It seems to be catching himself out here somehow with one engine in atmosphere, which makes no. Okay, now he has no engines in atmosphere. Maybe now he'll crash and die. Let's see. I think there was one more Freelancer to take out. Where is he? Where are you, Freelancer? Is that him? No, this is the same Cutlass Black. Look how much shots it takes for the Cutlass Black. They gave it too much hull XP, and he is still getting shots on me. How is he even controlling that ship? There's no engines. Maybe I should take out his wings as well. Shots all on the belly. Every laser hitting his belly. I wonder if it's the same with human control uh, Cutlass Blacks. I'm going to have to take my Cutlass Black out and see how many shots it could take. Because this is crazy. This thing is a supreme tank now. Knowing Drake is not known for hulls, you know, hull integrity. They don't even put, they don't even put, his, uh, you know, escape pods on their ship. All right, let's get this freelancer now. Pops, 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 target, rear shields down. The deterrent gunners are really accurate on these ships. That's the most... You know, threatening thing about these medium ships is you gotta watch out for the gunners. But as you can see, just a fury of laser repeaters taking them out, and they definitely have cargo. Too bad I don't have a cargo ship, but he is still floating. All right, time for you, Mr. Cutlass Black. You should be dead already. I mean, I don't have to kill him. He's uh, he's not my target. But all his friends must die. Maybe if I take out a front stabilizer, 
Let me see if I can get a stabilizer. Maybe he'll crash. Uh, I can't believe he's taking all these shots. This is ridiculous. What they give him? The same whole XP as a 890 jump? And they're still getting shots on target. I know when I lose an engine or anything on a Cutlass Black, like, it is uncontrollable. It is ridiculous that he's even getting shots towards me. In her atmosphere, nonetheless. I could understand in space, but in atmosphere. The Invincible Cutlass Black. CIG, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Let's, let's just turn it back down. I mean, Cutlass Black is supposed to just pop as soon as you shoot it. It's, 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 look at it. Alright, we got a wing. Are you gonna crash yet? One of your stabilizers. He's still getting shots on target. This is an ace pilot right here. Give this guy a gold medal. Alright, next stabilizer. Gotta be out of control. It looks like he's out of control. Shouldn't get any more shots on me. I would be pissed if he could shoot me again. Maybe his gunner. Finally! Jeez. They're like reclaimers nowadays. That is ridiculous. As we are greeted by this gorgeous sunrise. Or sunset. This game is just beautiful. As we fly our F-22. A.K.A. F-8C. Through atmosphere. And yeah, it, it, it is pretty maneuverable. It handles itself well in atmosphere. Alright guys, on my way to the next one. And some idiot AIs thought it would be a good idea to interdict me. They didn't know who they were interdicting. Let's take them out. Let's clear the ways. Let's clear the pathways to quantum lanes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. With all those fired and they still, I think they got a hit on me. It's just this, the ship has a large profile, so it's easy for missiles to hit. It's going to be kind of difficult to stay on target with this Buccaneer. It's a little bit more maneuverable than me in space, but it should take a beating and pop right now, right? Oh, okay, it survives one pass. Maybe, do I have full power to engines? Full power to weapons? Let me put full power to weapons, okay. He's surely done now. Oh, he survived two passes. What, are all Drake ships buffed now? Like, did they give all Drake ships a huge, like, amount of hull HP nowadays? Usually Buccaneers are paper mache. If you can get a couple hits on them, granted, ten laser repeaters hitting them. He is kind of running a little bit of circles around me. I'm going to just slow down my speed so that he can't do flybys. And there you go, baby. Like I said, when, when, when that happens, guys, and you guys are just jousting, it's good to just slow down your speed and circle them. That's what I tend to do. I mean, I'm no PvP expert, but learn your throttle control. All right, let's take out this Mantis. One pass on him. Now, I'll tell you, they gave, Drake, they gave all Drake ships a buff in HP. What's next? What ship is this? I can't see. Is this a, another Freelancer? Pretty popular in bounties nowadays. He survived the first pass. Like I said, I'm going too fast. I need to slow down the speed and just circle him. Let me try and slow down. It could help that I'm decoupled as well. I like to fly coupled just to help slowing down when I'm passing. All right, closing the gap. We really flew right by him, man. All right, let me see, slow down. And that's another thing, this thing, this ship goes so fast so quick like it, it could you get to 800 in a blink of an eye it is a very maneuverable ship it's very fast the boost takes you up to a thousand in like literally two seconds it's probably one of the fastest ships in game right now we gotta race it with a drake harold that is i keep blowing by this freelancer i gotta slow down i gotta slow down but like it's hard to tell with this ship because before you know it you're at 800 you know meters per second all right and i wonder how fast he's going maybe i should put match speed on because we're just jousting each other i want to just circle him let me see i think this is good right now this is a good speed i could just catch him i don't want to merge on him because again i don't want him to crash into me the way that the ai takes such a close approach it's hard to merge and pre-turn him without trying to crash into him at least in my experience. See, right now, look how close he was to my nose there when I pre-turn. Like, I'm scared to pre-turn before they actually pass me. Alright. 
These pirates took a little bit of a beating out here, but uh, they won't be interdicting anybody else no more. Just making the, the streets a little safer in Hurston. On to the next one. Okay, guys, this is a HRT, as I said. I had to work through my ranking again, so I don't have the HRTs or ERTs, but, you know, this is just to give you a general, you know, first look, a glimpse of how powerful this ship is, and just the amount of sheer weapons it has is just freaking amazing. It handles like a dream. Let's see. Boom! One t most ships you could just get rid of in first pass. Let's do it. Let's get rid of his friends. What else we have here? Uh-oh. Uh, don't get hit. Again. Every time I, I've yet to avoid a, a missile in this ship. They're always hitting me. And the NPCs with the huge flyby, as usual. Let me slow down my speed. Take him out on his first pass here. Okay, Rocket. You're going down. Oh, what is this? He's got Gatlings. He is tagging me up. He's got to go. Is this a Reliant Tana? Oh, cool. I haven't seen this in a, in a bounty pool before. I like how you see the unique ships. He should be popping, though. That ship is so fragile in my estimation. Whenever I've used it, I've died immediately. Come on. Come on. Oh, boom. Beautiful. He was just out of my reach. As soon as I got on target, it was over. It is just... It, once you lay shots on your target here, it is hard to escape this ship. It really is. All right, what do we have here? Looks like an arrow. Oh, cool. I haven't seen an arrow in uh, bounties as well. It looks like he's about to crash. Oh, no. He's coming back. He's coming back. Ooh. Flyby. Close flyby. I think I got him on the next pass if he comes that close again. Hit a little boost. Oh, you shoot a rocket. Rocket spamming me. You gotta pay for that. And pay you will. Come on. Let me get a shot. Let me get a shot. There we go. Such a tiny ship. But Brig Brother has to show you how it's done. His shields are down. And that's it. And that's it. Once the shields are down, it's over. Unless you're a Cutlass Black, of course. Who we got next here? One last ship, I believe. Closing in. 5k away. What is he, running away? Nobody runs away from me. Oh, this is Rocket. I didn't kill you yet, Rocket. Okay. What is Rocket in? A freelancer? Yeah, alright. So we should get him on this last pass here. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. You survived one more pass. This is it for you, baby. Come on. Oh, I need some boost. I need some more boost. Full power to engines. All right, let's put that power back to weapons. Is he going to crash? He's going pretty low. All right, full power to weapons. Let's take him out on this pass here. Oh, man, didn't even get past the shields there. This guy's putting up a big fight. Okay, there goes the engine. You got one more pass in you. This is it. Oh, another engine. And the ship is gone. Soft death, baby. Beautiful. Put you out your misery. Look at that. So cool. So freaking cool. Now we'll put you out your misery. Oh man, this ship handles like a dream. I like it. I definitely like it. I have to say, it, it, it's maneuverable. It's got a large shield pool. It's got a whole lot of ammo. Oh, look at that! They took out one of my wings there. My little stabilizer on the front. Probably the ballistics coming in.
But yeah, all in all, I think this is going to be the new meta for PvE bounties. I got to try PvP. I'm not a real big PvP guy, but uh, I would like to see it in like somebody's hands that is more competent on PvP. But anyway, in PvE, it is definitely one of the best ships in the game right now. You can't beat the amount of forward-facing firepower. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys on this bounty hunting f8c preview video if you found this video informative and entertaining don't forget to smash that like button and share with your fellow star citizens and if you haven't already subscribe and join the discord community and don't forget to leave a comment below how do you guys feel about the f8 and the event and cig going back on the word saying they're never going to sell it yada 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 leave a comment in the section below just drop it down there well thanks for watching y'all know what to do already and i'll see you in the verse Peace.